In today's video, we are going to take a look at how to properly wind our bobbin thread. As you can see, we are looking at the throat plate of my Singer sewing machine, and right in here we have our bobbin. So to access it, I'm just going to hit that little button, pops up, and then here's our bobbin. Let's take a closer look at our bobbin. Generally, we're going to have two types of bobbins. We're going to have the plastic bobbin and the metal bobbin. And what you're going to use is going to depend on your sewing machine. You want to use the bobbin that is correct for your machine and you will need to check your uh, manual to make sure that you have the right one. You do want the right one because it can cause tension issues and honest to goodness 90% of the problems you're going to have in sewing is going to come from sewing tension or thread tension. If you can work out your thread tension issues your machine will just honestly sew like a dream. So let's uh, talk about how to get our bobbin thread properly wound from the spool of thread and onto the bobbin itself. For my machine, it uses what's called a 15J bobbin, which is this plastic one here. So, and I'll tell you, they've been kind of hard to find. So I stocked up a little bit ahead when I finally found some. So make sure that you read the packaging carefully to be sure that you are getting the right bobbin for your machine. Now we're looking at the top of the sewing machine and on most of the modern machines, this is where you're going to wind your bobbin thread. So they're all kind of the same, but they're all a little bit different. So what you're going to need to do is to look on the top of your machine for the specific instructions. Essentially, you're going to have your thread. In this case, I'm using a horizontal feed thread and it's going to feed through this guide and through this guide and then down around this little tension spool and then that thread is going to run over to this uh, pin and that's where we wind our actual bobbin and the way it's powered is that we use our foot on the foot pedal and depending on how hard we press is how quickly or slowly that thread is going to wind onto the bobbin. I have a tendency to use thread that is loaded this way, which is a horizontal feed thread. If you have thread on your regular spool, you're going to put it onto this upright spool pin. And you'll want your thread to come from the back and you'll thread it the same way. But I typically use uh, this horizontal feed of thread. It's just a personal preference. The first step to getting your thread tension is making sure that you load the thread properly for the machine. What that means is if your thread is wound like this, you want the thread to be loaded horizontal. And if you have it on a regular spool, it's going to be loaded vertically. This is critically important. I know it seems like a little small thing, but uh, in reality, it's it's really important. So you don't want to have your spool going like this. That is going to cause you problems. And by the same token, you don't want this type of thread to be uh, vertical. That's going to cause you a lot of trouble. So make sure, first of all, your thread is on the machine correctly. Now we're looking uh, at a nice close-up angle of the very top of the sewing machine. And you can see here is my thread and it's going through the first guide and through the second guide. And then what I want you to see, down here we have this little diagram. These diagrams on the top of your sewing machine are telling you how to load the thread on your machine properly. So in this instance, we're looking at how to wind the bobbin and that's going to be in this diagram. What I want you to notice is that it says to go through number one, which is going to be this piece. And then it says to come over here to two, which is this one. And then see how it's showing you in this picture, 
how it wants you to wrap the thread around, you want to pay close attention to the way this diagram is demonstrating how to wind that thread. That's important. All of these illustrations are there for uh, a reason, so uh, don't just kind of think it's just there for decoration. It's not. This is telling you how you're supposed to wind the thread. So this one is telling us that we're going to come under and over and then this way. And then we'll move our way over. And then here is the, the spool pin where we're going to seat the bobbin when it's time to wind the thread. And then what we'll do is when the bobbin is on, so we put the bobbin on and then move it over. And then it's in place. And then when we uh, give it some gas using the foot pedal, this will start to spin. And that is how the bobbin will wind itself. While your sewing machine is set up for this particular function, your needle will not work. So it will just stay in place. So sometimes people will wind up sitting down to sew and then their machine won't sew no matter what they do the needle won't go they'll hear the machine powering up and nothing happens if that happens to you you might have your bobbin engaged so it will go back over this way and that will re-engage the needle and then when it's here it's it's um it's not going to engage that's just a safety protocol Okay, so let's get our thread set up. Uh, we're going to go first through this guide, and then the second guide, and then just like my diagram shows, I'm going to come under this tension wheel, under and around, and then back over. So when you pull on that, you can feel that there is tension on that. That's, that's what you want. If it's too loose, what will happen is your thread is not going to wind very well. Okay, so now my thread is ready to go. Let me show you how to set up the bobbin itself. Here is the bobbin, and what I want you to notice is that there's like a little itty bitty hole in the top. Okay, and it's on both sides. That little bitty hole. Can you see it? I know it's hard to see. It's right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring that thread around. We're going to bring that thread from underneath and go up through this hole. Okay, there it goes through the hole. And then I'm pulling it through. Okay, that is now set up and ready to go. So I've got the thread coming from underneath and up through that little hole. Okay, so that's how the thread is set up on your bobbin. Now let's put it on the spool and wind. Okay, our bobbin is in place. I have just put it down onto the, the spool. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that thread tail that's coming through the top. And I'm just going to pull it up. So I'm just holding it up. So I've just got it around my hand. It's out of the way. And I'm putting light tension. I'm not pulling, but you can see See how that's that's kind of slack, but now it's got that little bit of tension, okay? And then we're going to put it into place. And then while I'm holding the thread taut, I'm going to gently put my foot onto the foot pedal and start winding. Now, notice I'm still holding this tail. Okay, now I've got a good little bit of thread on the bobbin, so I'm going to uh, nip this tail. Okay, I want you to see this winding from a different angle so that you can see it's going on there just nice and smooth. I've had a couple of people uh, write to me and ask about winding the bobbin because what's happening for them is their thread is not going on taut. They're winding up having this be really, really super loose and then they're having trouble. And that's going to give you trouble because if you don't have your bobbin wound correctly, when you go to put that into your bobbin case, 
you're not going to sew well. Your tension's going to be off. And I can tell you that the reason you're having this issue here where your thread is not taut, it is a tension issue. But you can see I can go fast or I can go slow and I'm not losing my tension. It's staying even, which is what we want. And I'm going to wind it until it touches here. That's sort of your visual cue that your, your bobbin is full. So that's all we need. And see how this has that little bit of tension. So we'll clip it. And then you click it left. And there's your bobbin ready to go. And it's beautifully wound. I want you to see. Very nice and um, crisply wound onto the bobbin. That's what we're looking for. Even though this machine is not using the metal, because this is a regular 15 bobbin, let me just say, uh, if you're using one of these style of bobbins, uh, you can use any one of these little holes to fish your uh, thread through. So on the plastic one, we just have that little tiny hole that we have to get the thread through. On this one, you just use any one of those holes uh, in the, the top or the bottom. They're all, all the way around. So any of those are fine. So you're just going to fish that thread through here, through the top, and the rest of the procedure is the same. Okay, and the last thing I'll leave you, this is just a, the last little tip, is when you go to put your bobbin in your machine, make sure that you are looking at this little diagram to make sure that you are, in fact, putting that bobbin in correctly. So on this one, it wants the thread to be coming uh, from the left and down. So left and down, so I'm going to drop it in. And then it's going to go into that little notch and then pulled around. And then when I thread the upper housing and I pull the bobbin up through the feed dogs, I'll be ready to sew. That's the video for today. I sure hope that helps you. I know that there have been people who specifically requested this video. I hope you see it. <laughs> YouTube is kind of funny about getting videos out to people. I hope you see it and I hope it answers your question. That's the video for today. I sure hope it helps and I wish you nothing but happy sewing and happy quilting and I will see you in the next video.